All right, welcome back to the Dark Souls walkthrough. It's part 11, I believe. We just got done taking out the great gray wolf thief. So we're going to want to head back to uh, the entrance of the garden so we can level up. And then we're going to head to Sin's Fortress. It's about to get a little spicy. Don't worry about this guy. Uh, or not. He, he, for some reason, always seems to hit me, bruh. Go ahead and use our souls that we have. Okay. I think that's everything. Let's take a look at our weapon real quick. So B scaling index off tops. And our dark moon, I mean our black bow affairs. Okay, so it looks like everything needs to go into dexterity. I'm gonna say everything. We go about 30. Uh, I guess we'll just rock 30 decks. Now, since Fortress is close by, so we don't have to do too much. our armor a bit. Alright. Rest here. And on Orlando is this way. Or Sense Fortress is this way. Alright, this area is um, going to be the hardest area you've ever been to. I have arrows. We got standards. It's probably not gonna do too much. Okay. I did that too early. Usually I think does it come back? Uh, does it come back up? I messed up. So we got these two serpent dudes and I messed up the uh you can hit them with those darts. Now we're gonna have to backstab. Oh my god, bro. Did 
these dudes are super annoying. I'm just gonna refresh that. Because we miscalculated. Try this again. Just wanna run here. Bro, what the heck? That's not normal. Should have been a backstab. There we go. See that hornet ring gives us that extra crit. You know, that's a one shot to the back. All right, let's keep it moving. All right, here we go. Be careful coming through here. You know, take your time. Bam, bam. Just gonna kind of move past him. Think he must have fell off, so that's cool. All right, we're gonna go up here. Be careful, cause we got this guy throwing stuff. Oh, that almost ended badly. Don't get hit by that. Open his chest. Nice. We can upgrade our bandit knife. Okay. So you keep going this way. Oh, you see, homeboy got hit with the oop. Just take your time. Be patient. Yeah, he's gonna keep getting slayed by that. Don't want to get hit by that. Oh, sorry, buddy. I'm not sure which way you need to go first. Come on, buddy. Or not. Okay. If I remember correctly, we need to follow this thing down. And you can wait for the wrecking balls to pile up. Oh no, yeah, this is what you're supposed to do. You wait for the balls to pile up and they'll go through the wall. And one more. Bam. Get that item. think we need to go this way yeah nah oh bro come on bro he ain't get hit by either of them come on bro Oh, 
Oh my gosh, bro. So what you want to do is turn this lever. Let it kill that snake over there. One more ought to do it. That's fine. We can finish him. Never mind. Okay, I'm gonna switch it over. To this way. I think. I don't even know, but yeah. Head through here. Now these are going to be trickier. Oh my gosh, bro. Switch this lever around. And head down here. I forgot about this area. might not have the key for this guy oh, I did okay you want to open this up if you can okay it's a big hat Logan so now we let out Logan. It's optional, but he has a pretty cool side quest. Okay, now to head back. And don't get hit by the boulder. Gosh, bro. I need to go to this little secret area over here. Wait. Don't go up there and get hit by those spikes, please. Dang, I forgot which one it was. Is it this one? 
Oh, it was this one. Oh my gosh, bro. Like, why? to get there it is all right okay now we can keep it moving So remember for this one you just run straight across it was the next one that we need to do the other little thing that we did or you'll see all right bro get the back oh my gosh thank you This area is annoying. I've always just headshotted this guy till he dies. All right, now you don't have to worry about him. Now you just have to worry about doing this properly. You want to go in the middle of these? Oh my gosh, bro. Okay. Once you get past this part, the rest of the game is pretty, or the rest of the area is pretty easy. But this part is annoying. Okay. Got him. Oh, don't get hit by that. I don't think there is anything over here. Yeah. here nah I lied it doesn't get easier it gets more difficult definitely more difficult you got your balder knights here this flame stone plate ring I mean we might actually need this right now hold on just for these giants that throw fireballs so you go up here there's gonna be a giant throwing fire at you Uh, 
nice little bonfire here kind of a secret area what I would recommend is you kindling here You got your Kindle. Okay. Now. You can put that stone plate ring on like I did. Just so if you do get hit with some fire. You don't take too much damage. I couldn't hit his back right there. So stupid. Uh, you can't backstab him. That's why. I totally ran into that. This is all optional stuff. You don't have to come back here and fight this guy. But, you know, he drops a large Titanite shard. You come back here, you'll fight a knight with the crossbow. Kind of annoying. Yeah. He's an archer like us. It's kind of a hard fight because you're on these stairs but it's all good pull up here get you some chests divine blessing always comes in handy rare ring of sacrifice if you die you get to keep uh your souls if you have the rare ring of sacrifice equipped now we're gonna head on back video is going on 40 minutes a lot of cuts will need to be made a lot of cuts will need to be made cut what out what we're gonna do is go back here and get our estus back it's almost time It's almost time for the boss fight. We're kindled. We're no longer hollow. Everything should be fine. Now, when you go up here, there's a secret area here. You go this way and there's a guy that sells items, but I really don't want to fall off. Actually, see. Bro, are you serious? What the fuck? That was weird. But yeah. You fell off trying to do it. Oh my gosh, bro. But yeah, that guy that we were just talking about, he sells like the great sword. He sells crescent moon grass, which um, boosts up your stamina. Ah, shit. We need our souls back. I 
hate shield users. But I should have known this. This is going to be a long video because the Sin's Fortress, Sin's Fortress is annoying. Fire is just ridiculous, bro. Dying hella times for no reason. Anyways, as you can see, the flame stone plate ring didn't even do anything. Wait, can you farm him for large titanite shards? made it across I need to show you guys this yeah. this guy right here oh we're not kindled he has fire bombs he sells large titanite shards as well he actually sells nice things gray sword what I will do is buy some large arrows. Buy 200 of those. Then we'll buy. Dang, you can only buy one. But yeah, Go that's on. cool. Then what's down here? I forgot. Not your best hour. Cage key. Cage key for who? I don't remember. But anyway. Once more, we're going to go to the bonfire because we need to kindle or reverse hollowing. I know, I know, I know. Humanity. Reverse hollowing. And now we will get rid of this stupid ring because it doesn't really even tank any of the fire damage really um yeah let's go back to our flip head up here This way. They'll be shooting arrows at you, but it's fine. Head this way. You don't really need to go this way, but, you know, this guy wants to fight, so. Yeah, that's what I was looking for was the backstab. Okay. two options the boss is here but go in here and summon iron tarkus and then 
you can go up here and take out this little mini boss if you will yeah it's a giant that's been throwing stuff at you oh one of them Iron Tarkus got that great sword, bro. He not playing. Took him out real quick. Go ahead and grab that tight knight chunk. Now we're ready for the boss. Which is right through here. The iron golem. Bro. Oh, God. <laughs> Are you serious, bro? Like, okay, hopefully my game doesn't do nothing stupid this time. All right. <sighs> Basically, you just want to attack his legs until he wobbles and falls down. And then that's when you go to town. It's kind of like the Tower Knight in Demon Souls. This is why we use Iron Tarkus, because he's going to supply the damage. And that's the Iron Golem. Nice and easy. Examine this ring. It's gonna take us to Arnolando. And now we're in Arnolando. And yeah. Part 11 will be the Arnolando part. Thanks for watching. I know this video took uh, a little too long but um i'm gonna cut it up make it look nice and yeah i'll see you in the next one peace out